Hi, I'm Greg Mensch, and this is Pat Heater. We're here today to talk to you about material handling, how to get all that powder into your blender without getting half of it all over your room. There are two types of systems that you want to talk about. One is a bulk system where you have large overhead bins and you're feeding down in the big blenders. The second is we call it a manual system because you have to switch containers. Now your containers can be bags, uh, bulk bags, bins, drums, totes. You have to be aware, what are you starting with? And then we can choose the equipment that works best with that. Now, if in your room, if you have a lot of overhead height, that makes it easier. If you don't have a lot of height, we have to work with systems that can meet your requirements. So don't be limited by a system you see and you say, well, that looks great. But let us go through all the systems with you because the blender and the loading and unloading system have to be integrated or it's gonna be a problem for you. When we do a bulk loading system, we have a blender that's set up and we have an automatic bow, we have an automatic sleeve, so we can mate up with that big hopper. What can you do with the controls to make that safe and automatic for an operator? Well, by integrating the discharging system with the Gemco blender and its positioning system, you can have a clean, dust-free discharge. One thing the Gemco blender control system can do is rotate to the discharge position within two tenths of one degree, aligning the inlet chute of the blender, okay. which gives you a real accurate positioning so your telescoping sleeve or inflatable seal will uh, mate directly with your through the floor discharge station, making a dust tight seal. Now the integration comes along where you once you're loading your discharge system, once you've opened up your control valve, you can no longer operate the blender, you can't rotate the blender in any way, but you can load materials in. And once you have your materials loaded into the blender, you can start to rotate the vessel, and when the vessel's rotating, you can no longer load the materials, eliminating the possibility of discharging through the floor onto the floor of the next level. So, when he's loading, the machine knows what it's doing. It's completely in your life. I've got drums, I've got bags, I even got bulk bags. How can you help me with that? Well, you can use one system to discharge from your drums, IBCs, bulk bags, and whatever container you might have. And even if you need to sift on your way into the blender, you can set up a mezzanine level with a sifter, a blender, and your discharge station dumping drums through the sifter into the blender, or use the same system with a rack to a bag break station to break the bags and a, a um, dust collection system to eliminate all the dust as you're opening the bags. But when you're connecting all these things, I mean a, a thousand pound bulk bag. Thousand pound bulk bag. That's a lot of powder. Can you do it dustlessly? Yes, you can take the bulk bag, the neck of the, the uh, FIBC into a dust tight clamp and discharging into the sifter through into the uh, through the floor chute or mezzanine level into mm -hmm. the Gemco blender. Is there dust collection on that? Dust it's got to build up some pressure inside there. Uh, all the pressure vents percolates through, or we can add socks for ventilation on the uh, through the floor chute. Now, what if I want to pneumatically load my blender? It's pretty simple. What can you do to make it better? Well, we can take the vacuum transfer system automatically rotate the vessel into position so you can manually put the vacuum transfer system onto the manway of the blender, rotate it back safely with the hoses attached, and then transfer the material up into the blender from a mass storage container. Interlocked so that the blender will not rotate further, uh, destroy your, uh, your vacuum transfer system. It will only rotate back, allowing the operator to take the vacuum transfer system back off put the man cover, manway cover back on, and then rotate back up to the vertical position and continue with your blending cycle. So you just saved me a $20,000 mezzanine. Yep. Okay, I like that. No mezzanine required. Can you put the controls for the pneumatic system into the Gemco system? They can be integrated into the Gemco system, which would help with the interlocking as well. So I don't need two control panels. I can do everything. The operator goes to one place. You do everything with one control panel. And it's all safety interlocked. Both yes. systems. 
The advantage is you can safety, safely interlock, being it's one control system, you don't have to integrate the two control systems together. You have one control system, so the Gemco blender knows what the vacuum transfer system is doing, and the vacuum transfer system knows what the Gemco blender is doing. Well, after your blend cycle, what you can do is rotate the farm arm into position under the discharge port of the Gemco valve. What that will do is create a dust tight seal between the Gemco blender and the farm arm and then you can take the neck of a bag, put it into the farm arm and as it inflates it creates a dust tight seal into the drum so you can transfer from the blend vessel into the drum. All contained. All contained. No powder gets no out. No powder gets out. Now you could do the same thing with FIBCs. You could take the neck, inlet neck of an mm -hmm. FIBC put it into the same farm arm, inflate the farm arm, and give you a contained dust tight discharge from the blender of your finished product into the FIBC. Next thing he's gonna tell me he can weigh it out of there. Oh, we can do that too, yes. All you need to do is have a floor scale, which we can supply for you, under the bulk bag or drum. We'll control the butterfly valve. We'll take the information from the weigh scale and the PLC, the controller, of the Gemco blender will open the discharge valve until you get close to your fill weight. It'll shut the discharge valve off and then it'll trickle feed until you get to the exact weight that you need shut off. Your operators can deflate the uh, bulk bag, pull the bulk bag out, and then do the whole cycle all over again. Now, when we're choosing this system, we've got to worry about the room, the environment, uh, how clean does the room have to be, uh, can, can this stuff all come apart? Do I need a whole maintenance department just to maintain this stuff and take it apart when I want to clean it? Every component of the loading system and the discharge system uses simple standard tri-clover fittings. So you don't need, need maintenance. There are no tools required. You can hand adjust the, the compression of each of the ferrules and simply remove them, clean, so my it. operators can do it. I don't the need the maintenance. Do it doesn't require maintenance. No tools. All required. the way up to 16-inch line All sizes. All the way up to 16-inch. Wow. Now, if my room is washed down or explosion-proof, uh, can all this be designed to be explosion-proof or washed down? We can design it for whatever your requirements are. If they're washed down, explosion-proof, or dust-tight. And it's all integrated. All integrated. Safety. Safely. Safety and, integrated. And mechanically? And mechanically integrated. That's how we load, discharge Gemco blenders. But the thing about us is we want to tie it together because your blending operation is the total time that it takes to load your blender, blend, discharge your blender, clean the room, and have it turned over and ready for the next product. So let us integrate all that for you and make a nice smooth system that you can only get from Gemco. This is the core of Valve from Key International in Englishtown, New Jersey. We at Gemco use this exclusively for all our sanitary blenders because of its great design. It's all 316 stainless steel. The polishes, it's got a number four finish on the body with a mirror finish on the butterfly, and that's standard. The seal is silicone. The reason we really use it is because it's so easy to take apart. What Triclover has done for uh, liquids, Cora has done for solids. These valves are available from 4 to 16 inch, so we can use it on all our powder blenders and processors. To take it apart, you remove the handle. One clamp holds the body together. The um, butterfly now can be removed from the body. And the seal just pops right off. No nuts, bolts, screws. Anybody can take it apart and it can be completely cleaned and sterilized and then put back onto the machine just as easily.